where do you see the greatest opportunities for laundry owners in the coming years? And I guess by the, on the flip side, what are some of the greatest threats that are kind of on the horizon? And maybe you <laughs> kind of mentioned that a little bit earlier. Yeah, I think the greatest opportunity is obviously this pickup and delivery aspect and the wash, dry and full, full service. And the reason for that is, you know, w- again, I spoke about this, you know, when, when looking for a location, demographic was always important. Why? Because you wanted to make sure you were in an area with apartments and people didn't have washer and dryers because then you can't service anybody. What pickup and delivery wash dry fold does is it, it helps it allows us to increase our market share. So now we're tapping into markets that we were never able to do business in before. We're going to the suburbs. We're going to the big, you know, single family homes where people still have washer and dryers, but we're now able to get that market share. So, you know, when we talk about really expanding what you currently have and, and, and you know, tripling or quadrupling what you're doing on a, on a yearly basis, Pick up and delivery, wash, dry, and fold is definitely the way to do it. And again, I think COVID helped people be more willing to do things like Instacart and go do my grocery shopping for me. And, you know, so now with that, we definitely have more of an opportunity to really convince people that, yeah, I know it seems crazy, but we will come pick up your clothes and return it clean. I'm telling you, I I work with people today today customers as we're introducing the pickup and delivery and they're like i didn't even know laundromats do wash dry and fold you know they 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 were like i've never even so they they actually wash my clothes fold in we're like yes we we wash the clothes we fold it we put in a bag and now we'll pick it up and return it to you and so it's it's literally people don't know that it exists so you have this amazing market share that's untapped and, you know, this is where I see, you know, the, the biggest ability to expand and really gain a lot more business. As far as threats, of course, what I spoke about, you know, obviously the, the rising cost. But there is something that scares me a little bit, which I think that, you know, as with anything with COVID really putting the spotlight on laundromats, I'm a little bit afraid of oversaturation in the market, uh, in the laundry industry. I'm, I'm, you know, I speak to doctors, engineers, real estate, everybody that is already well established and making tons of money, but they all want to be in the laundromat industry. Everybody that comes my way, you know, they look at me and they say, hey, I want to be in the laundromat. And I say, look, the the problem is that it's not that I'm worried that too many people are going to open up, is that I'm worried that people don't understand what's involved in owning a laundromat. People think like, I'm just going to open this laundromat and it's just going to run itself. It's, It's like, very, very incorrect misconception about laundromats are no hands, you know, hands off, easy, they're easy to run, you don't have to be involved. It's not true. And what happens is when people who are inexperienced and don't know what to expect open these laundromats, and then they start to realize that this is a lot of work, and I'm not doing what I wanted to be doing money wise, they usually go to the old school method of slash my prices, you know, let's just cut prices down to get more customers into the door and then it kills the market. So the, the, the oversaturation of inexperienced operators is, you know, a threat that I'm worried about, which is why I encourage people go to workshops, go to conferences, learn the business, even before you invest, go to some of them, really understand what's involved before you just jump into it. So that we don't have this, you know, crazy bubble of laundromats popping up everywhere with people who don't really know what the industry is all about and what the business is all about. 